So Michael, you've come down today to uh, to watch the amputee football. How was it that you got involved with this? Um, I saw them at the Rochdale game a few weeks ago and I was really intrigued to see what it's all about. Also, uh, a family member of mine uh, knows one of the organisers, so I, I thought I'd take a trip down today and, and have a look. And how impressed are you with the, with the talent that's on, on show here? Yeah, I've just been watching them warm up. They they can smash a ball about, you know, it's it's great to see that, that they don't hold back, you know, the, they're full-blooded, it's fantastic. And as a professional footballer yourself, how inspired are you to see you know, what they're doing? I mean, they've set up a league now and they're playing football on a regular basis. Yeah, it's great, you know, I've been chatting to a few of the lads, you know, and they're really happy, you know, they're, they're living the dream playing, playing football, even though they are amputees. Um, it's, it's very, very inspiring for me as a professional footballer and it, it really humbles me. So Nick, we're here today at the Peterborough Amputee game. Um, they're currently playing Portsmouth behind you there. How important is it that the football com football club can provide football for all? Yeah, it's massive. Um, we're trying to offer as many sessions as we can for uh, for players of all ability. So um, obviously people associate Peterborough United and with the academy and obviously the first team. But here in the community scheme, we're trying to offer as many different sessions for players of all abilities to be able to take part um, in the game. And the Amputee football team are now have a league structure. How impressed have you been with how they've progressed? Yeah, they're doing really well. They're eight points clear at the moment. Um, Everton have got two games and just behind them. Uh, who I think they're travelling to Ireland uh, next week as well, so that's a tricky fixture for them. Um, so the guys can't wrap up the league today, but they're uh, they're not far off it, and hopefully they can uh, keep progressing towards the end of the season. Hopefully there'll be another uh, trophy in the London Road cabinet. And how key is it that the football club work closely with all different aspects within the community department? Uh, definitely. I mean, the, uh, the the game against Rochdale, where we had the uh, the level playing field, uh, level playing fields day, was massive. I mean, the, the awareness that it raised, um, and then obviously the subsequent YouTube video that went out. I think it just showed how much talent these guys have got, uh, and hopefully what we're trying to do at the football club. And how impressed have you been with the talent that's on show behind you? Oh, it's amazing. We uh, we were watching them warm up a minute ago and they were uh, fizzing balls at the goalkeeper and uh, I think some of them uh, uh, can strike the ball harder than what I can, which is incredible when they're using their crutches for leverage as well. So it's just uh, just incredible and uh, fingers crossed for three points from them today. We've just come off the back of a 2-0 win as part of the league structure involving six teams. How competitive is the league and how important is it that other clubs try and form a side moving forward? Um, this year the, the league's really competitive with some big clubs, um, Manchester, um, City, Everton, um, obviously Arsenal, ourselves, Peterborough, um, University at Limerick, like, it's probably the most competitive year we've had, um, so looking forward to next year when there's, there's already clubs around the country um, who are looking to set up teams and got players ready to join, um, so hopefully you, you could be 10, 12 teams in the league next year. And how does, how does recruitment work? I mean, do you go out and actively seek players? Is it like a scouting system? Um, so with recruitment, um, the, we're open to, to any new players um, 
come into play any ability. Um, so it's kind of just contacting limb centres and, and raising awareness really for, through the charity of um, the National League and, and trying to recruit the players that way. And you were recently at the ABAC Stadium for the game against Rochdale. How much did you enjoy showcasing your skills in front of a live audience? To be fair, it was brilliant going on the pitch. Um, the fans were absolutely superb. Um, obviously a shame about the result for the first team, but it's, it's great for us to go there and showcase it and, and hopefully raise awareness um, and, and just show the great work what the Community Trust is doing as well. So the Posh Foundation is behind us and, and, and it's really good to showcase that they're putting in the hard work as well to back us. And how important is it that, that Peterborough United support your progress as you go forward? Yeah, I, th I think with the, the name of the Peterborough United behind us, like it, it's good. I've, we're raising the profile every day and we're getting more and more publicity through other clubs and other shows and, and it's, it's brilliant that the clubs support us and, and are really behind us and hopefully we'll reward them this year um, and, and win the league. I don't want to talk too soon but it'd be nice to, to come back with a bit of silverware at the end of the year and, and thank you guys for your support. Mm.